Hey everyone, Sam Bo here, welcome back. Just continuing on from the last episode, this traffic here, this nightmare intersection, I'm going to refer to it as, it is a direct result from what we worked on in the last episode. So just to recap, just to recap quickly what was happening in the last episode in case you didn't watch it and also why didn't you watch it but I worked on this area up here because there's a lot of people there's huge influxes of people coming in off the trains and going in all crazy directions so a lot of this traffic is directly from here so they usually spawn about there come around here and then go down and then come in here because they want to get onto this highway interchange in here so I just want to make this intersection work a bit better and just to show you guys quickly the traffic is it's a little bit bad right I don't know why it just went dark but it is quite bad in this area and it is bugging me so I thought while we're fresh like, like while it so like while all of this is fresh in our mind I thought we'll just fi fix this up before we continue on with other things in the city probably the tourist area will, will be the next thing that I want to work on but anyway so first things first I just want to double check so I don't know why it's going into a dark screen like this but anyway if we click on that actually maybe if I click on over here because a lot of the traffic is coming from here um, maybe there yeah you can see a lot of it is going directly up in there some going down here some going up there but mostly it's all going up in there what about if, if I click on there I mean we can just watch it and see that it's obviously going up in here what I want to do is just adjust a few little things and just make the whole area work a little bit better hopefully we can downgrade it from a red traffic congestion status so let's get into it I'm going to be using this mod up here mostly so firstly um, you need to figure out when you're doing these types of things you need to figure out what is the priority and where is the where where do they all want to go what is the main amount of traffic wanting to do so first of all um, it's probably this traffic going in and then I think they're mostly wanting to turn left so let's just watch it for a second and see where they all go I'm just going to remove traffic lights just so it all happens quickly let's see so some of these guys going straight ahead left these guys are just a mess up here um, there's some weird lane changes going on as well and looks like these guys are generally going left and right so that's good um, so I think just even though it's not a huge amount of traffic um, it is enough to be a pest so and then another thing probably the even higher priority than this one is the highway because when you think of road hierarchy the highway is obviously going to be the main concern so I'm going to remove traffic lights from here and also I'm just going to make it so they don't think it's an intersection so they'll just drive straight through because whereas now uh, before I just did this they would go and then stop here and wait because it was an intersection whereas now they just drive straight through so that's good 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 go like that now I just want to double check so most of these guys are going where oops where are they going oh my god that's <laughs> that's really hard to follow right oh my god let's try that again this one this no don't need to close that um, okay, that's just really hard to follow, so we'll remove that, that, um, so it's a lot of private vehicles just going everywhere. Okay, okay. And also, one thing I'm just going to mention real quick, I don't want to demolish any buildings, I don't want to make any new roads, I don't want to do anything else. I want to work with what we have, because that's more realistic. In real life, generally, they're not going to just demolish all of these buildings to do what they want to do, right? So they're going to leave it how it is, and that's what I'm going to do. So first things first now this is something that you guys are probably not going to like but it's a little sneaky thing that I do sometimes when they do these yucky turns turns like that I like to make um, I like to go like this so they don't actually change lanes and then it actually causes them to choose their lane earlier on but I just realized a lot of this traffic is coming from these buildings so these lane type things those changes aren't really going to do much but I'll do the same for here as well so they don't do the annoying changes because in the game these types of changes on the road are really annoying I find them really unrealistic so we'll just connect this guy and connect that guy again and that'll probably already help with the flow um, up here 
I could update the roads and put in more lanes, but I don't want to. So we've got one that's turning left, one that's turning right. Um, what I'm going to do is, since actually this should be a traffic light, there we go. So since it is a traffic light now, I'm going to allow these guys to go not just into this lane, but allow them to go to basically any lane that they want. Same for this lane over here. So instead of just all going into this, what color is this? That pinkish one, I oh know, this greenish looking one. They can go to any single one and hopefully they shall go a bit fast and hopefully that'll help already. Um, now this part should be fine. It's just when they all come down through here, I might have to do some time traffic lights actually. But just before I do that, actually, I'm just going to align these ones as well, just like this. I know, I know it's sneaky and it's not realistic, but sometimes you just got to do these things in the game because it just, it helps with the flow. And like, if they want to go in either lane, they can choose the lane earlier on instead of just changing the lanes in here where it looks really messy. So it, let's just go like that and see how is that going? We'll just let it play out for a second and see if that just generally helps and we'll we'll see what other issues come up. Okay, so you can see with the ordinary traffic lights, they're not very good because like you have cars that want to go from here and go across, which is then cutting off traffic going this way as well. Um, so what we're going to do is good old time traffic lights and hopefully this doesn't get too technical go add um, you want to do this thing here because it gives you extra options so you can make them go straight ahead or not turn right or blah 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 it just gives you more options so the first thing that I want to do is actually we'll start with this guy over here and I'm going to turn off all of the crossings the pedestrian crossings and we'll give them their own priority crossing at the end so we'll start with this guy and we'll allow them to go straight ahead and turn right for let's just say 10 seconds right 10 seconds i mean this is all adjustable later so only this one is going first so they can go wherever and then so once that one's done we'll go add step we'll turn that one off that one off and we'll do the same for over here as well and since there's not as much traffic over here i'm just going to do maybe five seconds and we'll see how that goes and again we might have to adjust that oops why did it go like that and even let's just go like that and you'll already see um, that it'll help because there's so much traffic coming up here we're giving all of them the, the priority where to go and why are they taking so long to go though okay so I might adjust that to a little bit more time a little bit more time so let's say 15 maximum for now and start let's go so they turn green and go either way all other traffic should wait why are they why are the pedestrians crossing because you see the pedestrians are crossing right and it's holding them up so we want to make sure that the pedestrians can't cross and I'm noticing when I press start the pedestrians cross I don't know why, because I specifically said do not cross. I don't know, it must be an issue with the mod. So anyway, that's that one done. And then we have this guy has their own priority. And then the next one we'll do is over here. So we'll go start, oops, not start, sorry. We'll go add setup, uh, make sure everything else is off, turn you on. And I'm just keeping it simple so they can both go. And how much traffic is over here? Maybe we'll just do 12 seconds and we'll see how that goes. Like so, start, duh, 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 turn around, and then we'll go stop and then add another step, which is this one going on. Um, how much traffic is over here? Not as much, so we'll just do 10 seconds like that. So let's press start and see how it runs. So you can see doing it like this isn't that great because you're actually holding up all of this other traffic, right? So what I'm going to do is let's go to edit the first one so we're going to have cars going this way this way and this way right so instead of making this one go and cross them we can make this one turn left uh, and then this one here they can also turn left and then maybe this one can also turn left but giving way to everything else so that way nothing should be crossing each other so if I press start and hopefully you guys can see what I mean because I know it is confusing to watch so this guy has the priority they can go um, 
they should be able to turn left but I don't think anyone wants to turn left here same with over here as well unless it's not working properly I don't know but that's how I would do it um, and then like for example here I'm going to edit and say that this guy can turn left again and maybe if I go like this is that gonna help so add step no start okay skip you and go to the next one so this one should go green but I don't know why they're not going I don't know why they must this lane must be wanting to go straight ahead maybe yeah see they wanted to go straight ahead which is fine I mean it's totally fine so you could always add in like an extra turning lane or you can make this lane here specifically for turning left if you have a lot of traffic that wants to go left um, looks like we actually do have a lot of traffic that wants to go left but whatever so stop let's just go through it again because it's like oh my god I need to focus so this one is first so they can go that way straight ahead and turn right and then this lane here at the same time can turn left since it's not crossing anyone these guys can turn into this lane here and then actually we can probably make that one go like that as well so start I know I'm like this is pretty re repetitive but it's what you got to do and I usually cut out me working out how to do all of this stuff but you guys are lucky I'm showing you how to do it today okay so while the third one is going which is this one here um, actually no not that one save the last one no not the last one oh my god which one is it this one okay so while this one's going this guy here he can turn left and we'll, we'll make this one not be able to go because all of this traffic is going straight ahead so let's go start and see how that goes I know traffic is building up right now because I'm like fiddling with it but we'll get it to work better okay so I actually updated everything and I know I know I said at the start I wasn't going to update it but I think it's better because what I've done now is I've put in three lanes which basically gives them more options to turn while other traffic waits so for example with this lane here um, let's say there was only two lanes this is how it was before and there was no turning lane because all the traffic in front of them was blocking them so if they had a green light to turn left and for example this car wanted to turn left he couldn't right so he had to wait whereas now they can just zoom up this side and turn left and then all of the other traffic that waits isn't interfering so that's basically what I've tried to do now I've realized a lot of traffic is suddenly appearing up in this lane because I've made it pretty pretty short so we need to go back into that and we'll go start actually stop um, and then we'll do that up at, at about let's just say 13 seconds we'll see how that goes start now the pedestrians I don't know about pedestrians usually I turn the pedestrians off and which I did but they just seem to be doing whatever they want to do today so whatever but usually I would give the pedestrians all access to cross at once which looks pretty cool it's like the big Japanese crossing except they're not crossing all straight through the middle so yeah so you can see all of this traffic that wants to go straight ahead or turn right here they had to wait but this lane here was clear because they could go same for this these lanes here as well um, this lane here for example is mostly clear so I think this is definitely the better solution. The only downside with, with this was when I put in this larger road, uh, it made this huge intersection which doesn't look as good, right? Now what is going on here? We seem to have a ugly crossing thingy happening so I'm going to adjust that so they can't cross so they have to choose their lanes earlier on. And when I say they have to cho choose their lanes earlier on, um, they have to choose it down here somewhere or up here somewhere. and basically instead of doing it here where I can see it where it's really annoying they do it somewhere else they do it somewhere else in a less congested area so let's see if I just <laughs> I'm just deleting you don't mind me so now they'll just go straight ahead um, these guys down here shouldn't merge that's good don't know what you're doing don't know what you're doing you're coming from the subway I suppose so how is this area down here going looks okay looks okay now I know it looks like it's building up a lot but yeah it's it's okay it's just that we're managing the lanes a bit better 
I also adjusted the lane so they know exactly where to go, but I noticed there's another ugly cross interchange lane merge thing going on here. So we'll adjust that like so, and then also I'll just adjust this one here. So they can go that one, and then this one can go into that lane or that lane. So hopefully that shall help. I'll just let it run for a few minutes and we'll check back in and see how it's going. And guys, just quickly, um, while that's going through time really fast, I just want to clarify that there's nothing wrong with them merging lanes. It's just that for the game's sake, um, their, their way of merging is really clunky. Like, it really just stuffs everything up. So, in real life, I'm, I wouldn't, like, want to do this type of merging thing, um, like, blocking them from merging. But in this case, in the game, it's just better if we do it because it helps the whole traffic flow. Okay guys, so generally we have got it working so much better. There's a little influx of traffic coming in here, but that's okay. It should clean that out pretty quick, just as long as it doesn't back up onto your highway, because if your traffic backs up onto here, then it's going to be blocking your major traffic, and that's just that's something that you really don't want. So really make sure that you never block your highway. And that's why I said that it's one of the first priorities. Um, there was a huge influx of traffic here just before and I was thinking maybe I need to adjust the amount of time but I think generally it's okay like look at that doesn't it look smooth how it goes in realistically like I wouldn't say for these to go at the same time but for the game's sake because they follow the rules they're okay they're doing fine um, yeah I think I think we fixed it I think that's good so let's just check on the traffic thingy it's still red but why is it so dark? I don't know why it's dark, but it, you can see the color has gone down a little bit. This part is red, but you know what? That's fine, as long as it doesn't look too bad. Like, sometimes I feel like this isn't a good representation because, like, you can see the traffic is going fine. It's still flowing smoothly, and then it's saying it's red, that it's really bad. So, yeah, sometimes you just gotta check, but look at that. Doesn't it look good? So I think that's generally it. Um, I wish I could have adjusted the pedestrian crossing. I tried automatic settings, manual settings, but nothing really seems to work with it. They just do what, what, what they want, which is really odd. Okay, that's all guys, so I'll see you guys soon.